Happy New Year, Capricorn from Map to Love with Catherine Nicole. This is going to be your January 2020 brand new decade soulmate twin flame journey to self-love reading. We're just going to see what comes up and you being earth energy, I know you can feel into what I've been feeling. The animals, the fairies, the elementals, mother earth feeling nourished and revitalized when we get out into nature listening to our intuition, listening to our guidance, because they're all here to help us manifest our dreams. And I've really been feeling the fairy and elemental energy and earth energy right now as things shift and we're, we move, we're, we're in or moving into, depending on where you're at in your journey, into this new world, this new level of existence. It's totally different. It's a totally different life. A brand new book, brand new movie of your life. So what are you going to write? As always, take what resonates with you. Time is an illusion. Whenever you're guided to this, is the perfect time for these messages. This is intended for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the next four to five weeks whenever you're listening. Let's see what the beginning messages are highest and best for Capricorn. Woo, almost the whole deck almost flew out. Children. Children are being highlighted. Your connection with children is a part of your life's purpose. Maybe it's a connection with your own children or children in heaven, and you're having children, something about children, or maybe you're a counselor or a teacher or somehow a guide for children. This is a confirmation that it is part of your life's purpose to help them somehow. Nurturing your inner child is really important is what I'm hearing. Really um, tapping into your imagination. It's a really creative time right now. And, oh, Happy birthday to all the Capricorns who are celebrating or have celebrated. And so it's a really important time for you to tap into who you really are and for your dreams and visions to come true. Those birthday wishes. Hold on one second because the card fell. Okay, so whatever this is that you're interested in, your life's purpose, what you're moving forward on, what you're studying in school, a class you're taking, a seminar, you need more information about the situation, so look into it further before proceeding. So this is encouraging you to take a little time out to yourself and really get a grip, a grasp on what you want to bring in, what you are manifesting, what's important to you. And also knowledge is being unlocked within you, being activated within you in these in these portals, in these 1, 1, 1, 11 portals, the 12, 12, all these different portals. And as you level up spiritually, things do change because you see things differently. So research something, whatever area of your life that you're feeling guided to. Wow. Well, we're not going to put these out, but let go as you surrender your need to control. Your relaxed energy rapidly attracts your desires. You've got the power. You've got what it takes. There's balance coming in for you. And something about the winter months, which over here we're in the winter months. So the answers to your prayers and affirmations are fully realized now. And if you're not in the winter months, this could still be now because I'm tuning into the energy here. Or something in winter that you were thinking about is coming back around. Or something that you're starting now will come into full bloom in winter. Take it as it resonates. But this card. And then spring. Wow. Wow. Okay, that's a really beautiful thing. Springtime. So it just depends on where you're at. Maybe something that you're starting now in the winter is fully manifested in the springtime and the answers are coming now. And then by the springtime or these next several months, you're going to have the answers. Maybe someone's having a baby. Literally, create, this is children again. Something about birthing children, helping children. Something about that, something about children, something about the winter, and something about the spring. See how that resonates with you. It'll be different for everybody, but your desires fully manifest as the flowers begin to bloom. Answers are coming now, and they, they will be manifesting. And see how this child has a butterfly, like that's spreading your wings. Something... Remembering something that you wanted to do as a child or something that made you happy as a child and following that now will be very beneficial. Somebody that, that's going to resonate with somebody out there. Maybe not everyone. As always, take what resonates with you. This is for the general collective. If you would like a personal reading, please reach out to me. Okay, let's just see what the fairies have to say for Capricorn.
you've had to be patient about something something that's the, maybe that research you you've had to be patient but it's important because when you do the research and you go within and you take the time you get this opportunity this is the universe handing you this clarity handing you this truth this sort of truth to help you move forward again it's a child being represented there is definitely something about children your youth something don't be deterred by challenges along the way it's important to communicate clearly and accurately amazing new ideas that should be implemented see something's coming some kind of clarity, this new opportunity, this new beginning in this brand new decade is beautiful. Eight of Autumn, again, do more research, do some research. There is definitely something that you need to do research on, whether it be a relationship, this twin flame soulmate connection, a job opportunity, an area of study. But again, you are a mentor to children. I mean, it's, it's coming up in all the cards doing an apprenticeship, taking a seminar, long-term projects being abundant. Eight of eights are all about physical manifestations coming in to your material world, like manifesting it and physically being able to touch it. And we, yeah, that's interesting. Very interesting. Look, wow. New beginnings. The sun is shining in on your life. Ending things that are necessary for these brand new beginnings. You're going to be publicly recognized, recognized in your job, recognized in your life for the hard work, and plans are working out. Amazing ideas that lead to rewards. See? Amazing ideas that lead to rewards. Pay attention to your dreams. Pay attention to your visions. Pay attention to that those epiphanies that are coming in, Capricorn. Wow. Ace of Spring, two aces on the board already. Brand new beginnings for you. Brand new life. It's time to take action. Be fearless and happily pursue your most treasured dreams. Amazing career opportunity. See, something amazing is coming your way or has been presented to you. It's a golden opportunity. Yeah, it's a golden opportunity that's going to take you out of this. This is the universe begging you. The Four of Cups, this four summer, Four of Cups, okay, this is discontentment, boredom, uh, distraction by things that don't matter, right? Um, not seeing something for its truth, not seeing a person for who they really are or seeing yourself for who you really are. But this is the universe, the angels, the fairies, begging you to take that cup that the universe is offering you, to take this opportunity for these brand new beginnings because the sun is shining in on your life right now. Oh, going through an awakening. Change the way you're looking at a situation. This is the hanged man. Find that balance. Balance is coming in in 2020, the year of the four, the year of balance. Wow. Okay. So when you take these golden opportunities, these, these brand new beginnings, you're going to live the life of luxury. A baby, again, I'm telling you, there's something about being pregnant. Somebody's pregnant, getting pregnant, having babies, helping babies. Maybe you're a doula. Uh, who knows? I, it's something to do with children. And it's very creative and it's abundant. And it makes you feel good and happy. But it's time to take action. Time to take action. Time to take action. You're coming into a time of renewal. Of feeling refreshed, restored. This is the... the um, I believe this is the judgment card, right? Right before the end. Right before the finality reviewing the past, doing some research again, review the past and present so you can plan a bright new future, a bright new future with the sun card. Yeah, understanding your life's purpose, that's all coming to you. Feeling renewed, refreshed, balanced, restored. Again, doing research. There is something that you are studying, something that you need to look further into because look at that. You can't make this stuff up, okay? I mean, I'm just being honest with you right now. You, This is the Ace of Pentacles flying your way. You've got the Ace of Swords. You've got the Ace of Wands. You've got the universe begging you to take this freaking cup, the cup that we felt up here, seeing this new opportunity. Open your heart to love, the beginning of a new intimate relationship or the rebirth of a current one, the awakening to your psychic abilities and spiritual epiphanies. This is all coming for you, but there's research, happy news about your career, promotions, or scholarships. Need a little push to get going. This is this is your push to get going. This is the universe saying, listen, look up. You, you, you've done your research, right, after you've done it. 
Look up and take the opportunity. Open your heart to love again. Open your heart to all the aces that the universe is offering you. I mean, in a, in, in a way, every ace is being offered you on the board because this, to me, is the ace of pentacles flying your way, right, for this golden opportunity, bringing it into the physical, the sun shining into your life, ace of swords, ace of cups, ace of uh, wands. It's all aces for you, Capricorn, all aces. A bright future manifested through hard work and creativity, partnering with others who share your dreams. Yeah, partnerships coming in, divine partnership, divine friendships, divine business partners. This is your opportunity. This is what the universe is gifting you with, is people who are like-minded. Again, the four, okay, the year of the four, stability coming in. Not only are you going to have stability in love, but you're going to have stability in the material world. But you have to see yourself for how abundant and beautiful and amazing that you are. You're looking in the mirror and you haven't been seeing yourself right. You've been, you've been feeling, looking at the lack, looking at what hasn't worked out, what you don't have, this discontent and boredom. Manage your resources wisely and you will you're going to be achieving balance in how you spend and save. And also, if you have money to share, you have this idea and opportunity, share it with others around you because there are people that will really benefit you in your life to do this, to help others because it feels good and it levels you up. But also, this is that business partnership coming in. Allow others to team up with you because that's going to help push you forward. Oh, my God. There we go. True divine partnership in the spiritual coming into the physical that's what's happening the emperor and empress that complete balance and stability within yourself of the divine masculine the divine feminine literally creating life having babies using your logical mind and structure to increase your success getting organized uh this can be you or a masculine coming in and saying yes i have what whatever else you need i have it the world is in our hands. My heart is open to this union. It's going to be abundant, lavish, beautiful, creative, sensual, amazing connection. Wow. And at the bottom the still remains is that awakening that we saw earlier. Seeing things from spirit's point of view. Really waking up to who you really are and how powerful you are in these brand new beginnings. Feeling refreshed, renewed, restored. Passionate about life again. Passionate about love again. Very successful time for you, Capricorn. Very successful time. Okay, let's see what else, what other messages are for Capricorn. Highest and best. Justice, yeah. Scales are coming into balance. That's that balance. The year 2020, the year of balance. Everything's coming in balance. Birthing into new life, flying free, setting yourself free. If you've been in a legal battle, it's all coming to an end. It's all coming to a closure right now. This is that clarity. Balance coming in. The clarity that you're receiving, this new opportunity, will bring you the balance. Ten of Wands, dropping the burdens. Doing more research. How can you drop the burdens? How can you move forward into all of these new beginnings that are you can see in front of you? It's time to drop the burdens. It's time to let go. Let go of the past, let go of a, of a family dynamic, a work situation, a lover that didn't work out, let go. Let go of the burdens that you've been carrying and, and allow others to help you. But it's the ending. We got 1010. It's the ending. Yep, here's that, that clarity coming in. The masculine, like I felt the emperor coming in and saying, yes, I have what you need. I'm wise, I'm balanced, I'm restored, I'm ready, I'm ready to communicate. So this masculine, either it's you or somebody else coming in ready to communicate, a very wise person coming in, very good in business, makes good decisions. That's that masculine. Hello, here I am. Da, 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 da. It's time. <laughs> and if you are the masculine, it's time. It's time to speak your truth. This masculine is going to help this feminine drop the burdens. Oh my God, Ten of Swords. Yeah, it's ending. 10-10, ten, ten, the portal is open. It's time. It's time for this. It's time to transform the shadows into the light. 
ending those toxic thoughts, toxic situations. You see that? It's a beautiful, beautiful time of healing for you, Capricorn. This new opportunity, this new life, this baby, whatever it is, it's going to help you end. Maybe you've been trying to have a baby and it's been stressing you out and you're going to get pregnant. I mean, I'm, yeah. King of Wands. Okay, there could be two gentleman suitors coming in and offering something. And it's, it's your choice of who you want. What do you want in these new beginnings? Do you want to stay where you're at? Do you want to move forward in something else? This can be a true divine partner coming in and then a true divine business partner coming in. Or this is you feeling balanced with your spirituality, the masculine within you, balanced spiritually because the king of wands taking charge, right? Time to take action, time to move forward, and this is you moving forward towards your creative projects. Balanced with your headspace, opening your heart, and moving forward with this passion and vigor. The Nine of Wands, doing whatever it takes. You're almost there, learning your spiritual lessons, leveling up at the edge of everything, ready to take that leap of faith. This is the masculine, ready to take that leap of faith. Has strength and stamina, willing to go the distance, willing to do whatever it takes. You have what it takes. Charging forward. That's I feel. Very passionate time. Six of Pentacles, you're receiving money. You're feeling renewed, refreshed. There's gifts of money coming in. What did I say? The masculine, like I feel like the masculine is either you or them in this journey, this soulmate journey. The masculine, making the announcement. Look, making the announcement again. Doo, 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 doo. Here's your prosperity. Here's money. Here's what you've been asking for. I have it. Oh, don't worry. I have it. I have this golden opportunity for you. I'm going to work with you to make this happen. Blessings coming in from the past. Someone coming in from the past to bless you. Something you've been working on maybe with your partner that you're with that's going to come forward and be really abundant. So you're going to feel renewed and refreshed health-wise. And also this union is very reciprocal, very much give and take. It's a beautiful synergy. Six, Another six. Moving on into calmer waters. Peace. Tranquility. Feeling renewed. Restored. Rising above leaving the battle, dropping the burdens. Wow, this has come up a lot, the temperance card. This to me, and it's on top of the ace of, of cups, this is that true divine partnership, a resurgence of the love you're in, but this is finding the balance in your relationship, finding the balance in the love part of your life, finding the balance within yourself, the yin and yang, the masculine and feminine, the shadow and light, and being and, and having love again, love being restored. Five of Pentacles, yeah, a bright future through through hard work and creativity, walk letting go of the past. Not dwelling in this resentment and regret. Again, we got the four of cups. The four of pentacles, which is holding on too tightly, discontent, boredom, not seeing what's in front of you. And then the five of pentacles, like the regrets of things that didn't work out. You're moving into divine partnership so you can finally let go of this. But if you hold on to this energy and you hold on to the past and grip it so tightly, it does prevent you from moving forward into this new life. So it really is always up to you. Wow. Ace of Swords coming up again, telling you this is the clarity, whether it be in this reading or in your meditation, that it is time to take charge of your life. It is time to cut out what's not serving you. It is time to take this golden opportunity to finally face the truth, overcome your fears, because this is a beautiful, beautiful time for new beginnings for you. The Emperor shows up on top of the Emperor? Come on, you guys. Wow. Yes, the masculine says, I have this offer. Or you're the masculine. It's time to make the offer to the divine feminine. It's time to go after this, this ace of pentacles, this golden opportunity. You, you could travel the world. The world is yours. Loving life again, taking charge. But the emperor is making himself known very strongly in this reading on top of his own energy. Like, I'm here not going anywhere. 
because it's time for you to have your wish fulfillment. This is all your birthday wishes, your dreams that you've been wishing for since you were a child coming true. Prosperity, abundance, feeling good, feeling refreshed, feeling restored. This is a masculine energy with his cup saying, here it is. My cup of love is part of your wish fulfillment. Ah, so beautiful. Wish is coming true, Capricorn. Wish is coming true. Believe it. Know it. You're ending things that need to end. Letting go of things that need to. Doing the research. Focusing on your priorities. Setting healthy boundaries. And you're really, truly moving into brand new beginnings. It's all over. We got ace, 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 ace. Everywhere. We're going to get a final message for you, Capricorn, from um, a newer deck, a gift to all of you. The first time I'm using this deck, Archangel Animal Oracle Cards. For you is the shark. Yes, you are the shark. You are the leader. You are coming in. See that tube spring? To people that really focus, determine, drive, dedication, and move forward. Lead as a powerful, peaceful warrior. So finding that peace within and leading your life and making decisions and speaking your truth with love and compassion. Archangels Metatron and Joles, I'm, I'm not familiar with this Archangel, but you, you could look them up. But Metatron, I know these new portals and light body activations, this new beginning, you are leveling up spiritually in a big way and things are being activated within you and being realized that you didn't have in your conscious awareness before but are coming forward to help you. Rising above, see this new portal? You're just whoop, into the new portal of your life. Shark. This is the master card of the peaceful spiritual warrior. You are called on to strengthen and discipline yourself. Claim your power and act as a calm, wise influence for the highest good of all. Emperor, calm, wise influence. See, it's being confirmed. To do this effectively, you'll need to develop all five senses to tune into the needs of those around you. Because you are strong, sensitive, and important, you may have sacrificed yourself in some way for the common good. Your guidance is to examine your life and decide what brings you satisfaction. Bring more of these things into your life so that your wise leadership is founded on a feeling of personal contentment. Wow. This is a beautiful time for you. Go within. Do the research that's necessary to move forward towards your destiny, true divine partnership, and wish fulfillment. Thank you so much for blessing me by being a part of my journey. I appreciate every single one of you and the support on my channel. And I wish you so many blessings in this new year and new decade.